Alright, LDU. Now, I know y'all saw the title of the video and you think it's clickbait, but I'm not lying to y'all, man. I am literally going to show you how to get the steal every single time. If you just do it right, you got to do it right. You got to time it right. You got to look and see what you're doing. Pay attention to everything that's going on. Use the situation to your advantage and all of that good stuff. Now, you probably don't understand nothing that I'm saying, but don't worry about it because these steals that you see right here, these are all steals where we're setting things up and we're just hitting the button one time. Ain't no spamming. Ain't none of that. You're going to get the steal and you're just going to be good to go, man. And you'll be invaluable player on defense. But it does take teamwork because teamwork makes the dream work. And we you know also makes the dream work. VC. So if y'all don't do nothing else, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment LDU down in the comment section at the end of your comment. When you do that, you're going to be entered into two drawings. You're going to be entered into a $50 drawing that we do every single Friday where I give away $50 in either cash out or I give away $50 in, um, in PlayStation uh, currency, VC, or the extra regular S edition of NBA 2K23. Also, when you do that, you'll be entered for a drawing that we're going to do at the end of the month where we're going to give away a next-gen console. So all you got to do is like the video and comment LDU at the end of your comment, and you will be entered to win either a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox console, whichever you want, man. And now, uh, without further ado, let's just get the video underway. So what we're going to do, we're going to roll this thing back, man, all the way to the beginning and start out with uh with just a just a simple steal man with well, the way that we the way that you can get these steals every single time is just the way that we play defense the way that we set up the way that we do everything and i'm just gonna show you this and when you add this to your uh to you to your guys's scroller decks or to it to your bag of tricks you're gonna be just as good as we are with this stuff man the key the number one key on defense is if you want to try to get a steal and you want to try to get steals a lot of steals you gotta set up the blitzes. Or you have, and by setting up the blitzes, I mean you're gonna have to see the situations coming and, and see how you can guide your player and stuff like that. And we're gonna explain all that in a second. But also, you gotta see the opportunities. Like right here, this is one of those. I just made a complete, I played a complete mistake. Right here, you see me coming at this guy. What I'm supposed to do is hit this shoulder here. I'm supposed to attack this shoulder because what I want to do is send him to brute right here so I have help and then ultimately send him down here to gambit i come out and what you're gonna see me do is i i just came straight out and i just overshot him i i literally i literally came out and just straight up overshot the dude bro it's it's crazy i try i didn't and i didn't swipe or do anything because you see i still got all my adrenaline but instead of giving up on the play i know what's gonna happen right here you already see gambit's head you see gambit's head right here so i know that that means that gambit is gonna step to that guy and he's gonna cut all of this off in here for me. So my job is to get to this guy right here. But this guy, he doesn't have the ball, so he can't hurt us. He's really not in the play. So before I go to him, before I go to him, what I'm gonna do is run up his back and then go here. Cause I wanna take away any, I wanna take away any inside or any like, you know, veering off or anything that he might do. And so by me doing that, you're gonna see me coming, coming up beside him. And I'm, a, I'm just running straight into him, boom. And we get the steal because the ball, you're gonna see the ball bounces off me and we get it. But the more important thing that you see is Gambit has stepped over here and I'm gonna get to this guy right here, but I'm taking this path to get to him. Easy little steal, man, like easy stuff like that, just not giving up on plays. Those are the things that's gonna make you a better defensive player and stuff like that. And we gonna come down, what we do when we get the ball, man, like, like I said, the, the number one way you're gonna lose the ball is not getting the ball out of your hand when you know that you're not you're not a, a a ball carrier or whatever you want to call it, a dribbler. Look, I go ahead and throw the ball down to Brute. Brute gets to the middle of the floor. He gets it out of his hand. Trades up! Splash down. Easy bucket. Right here, you're going to see us get a steal right here. And we just setting up this steal. This is a different type of steal. This is one where we make you, where we make you pass the ball. Now, check it out. Brute. Brute has the guy, and he's cutting off all of this over here. He can't go over here. So, what he wants to do is funnel him toward me right now who's all covered he's covered so he's pretty much out of the play we got we got Hezzy playing center field so Hezzy's gonna pick up this guy when he comes up but also he's playing here and then we got Gambit playing in the middle of the floor just in case just in case they break contain my job ideally is to get over here and I want to guide him through me so that he so that he has nowhere else to go but what I do is I get here I try to, uh, I didn't get a chance to get a reach. This is another one of those. I just, I think I just took a bad pursuit angle, really. I come in, take a bad pursuit angle, 
But he gets antsy, and right here, you like he don't have a pass to either one of these guys. He probably could have passed it here, but instead of doing that, he tries to hit the uh, he tries to hit the slip right here, which is uh, he tries to beat Mac. I guess that would have been the right play, but you see Gambit is already on that, and uh, he moves in front of it. So pressure can cause bad passes, and those bad passes, as long as your team is there, you're gonna be able to get these steals. Now. We're gonna talk about other stuff. You're gonna see me go climb the ladder on that man, put it in the rim. You know what I'm saying? I get on that rim. That's how I get it. They got it together. They need a TO, baby! Now that now we're talking about straight up plucks and steals right here. This is one right here. Actually, we're still talking about in the air steals. Let me show y'all right here where he thought what was going on. So right here, he's coming up court. You see me and Brute already setting this up. I see right here, he's too close to this sideline. So I'm gonna come down. And I want to continue to funnel him. I want to just make it just as bad. I want to force him to come through this little thing right here. So when he does that, the only thing he's going to be able to do is I'm either going to, I'm either going to veer him out of bounds or he's not going to have anywhere to go. He's going to have to start to play. He's going to have to start to play from right here. And I'm going to already still be in a favorable position or what have you like that. Now, Brute sees what I want to do. And uh, he don't have a responsibility right now. Mac got This is Mac's responsibility. This fella right here is Brute's resp responsibility. He don't have anything to do right now. And then again, Gambit is just gonna sit here. He gonna sit in here and play center field and see what goes on. Now, when we set this up, I know that I got my guy Hezzy behind me. He already knows that I don't play no games and he doesn't want to get caught between this sideline. He fully believes that this is open, but that ain't open. Normally, it, that could be two people right here. Hezzy, if, you, if you're playing this corner, you can literally play both of those guys and your guys can press once you learn how to do that. He thinks he got the pass. He comes to the middle of the floor. He makes a late pass. Now, he did have the pass initially. I don't know why he stopped. I don't know why he didn't just one, one, two pass it right there. He should have just one, two passed it because I, I do believe that if it's one, that ball need to come out right now. Like right, right when he touches it, that ball needs to come out right now. I don't think Hezzy could get there. And uh, I think that that's a three ball if he, if he does it. But as it stands, he throws it late. He does the Cardinal Root Sin, takes two dribbles, and then once he takes those two dribbles, he sees me and Brute right here, right? So he knows that this is already trouble because he's already been in trouble the whole game. He's in trouble. Now he's gonna try to throw the late pass, boom, gets intercepted. And, and then we're gonna go down and get on the rim, uh, you know, as we normally do, or uh, find some way to score. Here we go. Hezzy, once again, the man who started the play, he's gonna end the play, right? Gets up there and gets his bucket. I know that took forever to just break down, man, but you know we're going to try to move through the rest of this super fast, man. Like I said, it's a lot of moving parts with this stuff, but the rotations got to move like that, man. You got to just flow like water. Go to the closest man, but also tell your guys where you're going. Right here, this is just elementary right here, bro. You can't do stuff like this, man. This dude is already cold. He's already cold. Now, what he could do is he could probably make this early pass right here, or he could probably make this early pass right here. That's what I would do right here because we're both behind and we're in the backcourt, but he persists. He wants to hold the ball. Now, you see Brute coming across. You get, you got nowhere to go. I'm holding, I'm holding firm right here, and I'm saying that if you want to come here, you're going to have to do that because I don't have a responsibility right now. That's Hezzy's responsibility. The only free guy is this fellow right here. But uh, but Gambit is kind of shading that. And Big Mac, depending on how they are, he got to get first pass, so he got to be able to defend that guy. But instead of passing the ball, we don't even have to worry about none of that because instead of passing the ball, he dribbles into Brute. Brute gets him in that animation. If you ever get in this animation right here, if you're in this riding animation right here that he's in and you see somebody coming across, yeah, you might as well go ahead and get that rock up, bro. It's two people there. If you do this, you will get this steal every single time. And as you can see, you can see that I hit the button. I hit the button right here when he, when, when Brute was riding him, uh, riding the hip, and then I hit the button right here. But the way that the game expressed it, it made it so it made it so we had to uh, get it on the other side. And I don't I know we don't always like those things, but the, the fact of the matter is, bro, you're cold, you're coming up court, you got nothing. You you ain't got nothing, man. I don't even know why you're doing that. Like it doesn't make sense. And yet again, here we go again. Root is gonna push him. He he gets the ball. Root is gonna push him toward the middle of the floor. He's bracketing this. He's saying you can't come this way. I see this. I'm gonna come here and say, okay, look, this is our best friend right here. We always try to set up. You always want to try to set up your traps right here because we know he can't go backwards. He can't go through Root, 
and then I'm gonna come here and cut this off. And if we do it right, we, you're gonna get a steal every time. Look, look what happens. He goes there, I go to my guy, but hey, look, look, look. Oh, well, wow, I didn't go. He thinks he has a pass, and Hezzy, geez, I don't know why he didn't pass the ball right here earlier. He should have just passed the ball right there. He was good, but I guess Mac was on the way. Mac was on his horse right there. And then, yeah, you can't throw it here because Gambit is looking right here. You, he really don't have anywhere to go with the ball. He should have just passed this right here earlier, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You gotta make this. You gotta make this pass right here, bro. You, you have to because when you don't, and you're even one second late, and everybody's moving around, boom, Hezzy gets the steal. We out, we out and off to the races. I just don't see why people don't go ahead and pass the ball. I understand you the main ball handler, but at the same time, sometimes, bro, you just gotta, you just gotta stop, bro. Yet again, here we go. Here we go again. Right now, I got supreme confidence in Hezzy. And if this guy right here is paying attention, he would go ahead and dot this dude right here and just catch me and, and make me stay still. But I know that he's one he's one of those guys that don't want to pass. Right here, you're going to see Hezzy. Hezzy's able to play. These guys are standing so close together. Hezzy can easy, easily play both of those. All he has to do is go first pass. And even when he goes first pass, this dude, nine times out of ten, is going to pass it back. So he can just go back up there. He's going to play that little triangle spot. Now, look. Check it out. He tries to throw the pass, right? He throws the pass to the first guy. Look, Hezzy's right there. And that's what I'm telling y'all. You can play both of these guys. We got him set up. He makes the, he makes the pass, but he's got to make that pass early. So if he goes ahead and makes that pass right here, he might, he might actually have a shot, but because he wants to take another extra dribble and now make the pass, here we go. Like I said earlier, Hezzy can play both of these guys. Not only can he go here, then when you try to make that pass, he's going to get that. That's exactly what's going to happen here. He runs down, baits that, backs up. Give me that, like young Chris Breezy. And then, like I said, once again, we all to the races, man. Um, yet again, here we go. This is just a great defensive play, man. This dude right here, I mean, that's 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 just that's just poetry in motion right there. Same thing happens as always. I, I'm I'm gonna try to funnel him to my help. So here we go, right here again. He really don't have anywhere to pass the ball. I'm funneling him, funneling him to my help, and he's gonna allow me to. I'm gonna sit on this shoulder. I think he's actually gonna try to go straight up the court, but nope, he can't. He has to turn. Now, right here, he's got a decision to make. Either he's going to have to dribble straight to the rim, in which case Gambit is coming across, or he's going to get cut off by Brute, and then I'm going to stay here on this hip and not let him come back. He let us force him in. I don't know why he did. Boom, here we go. I get off of him. Brute gets off of him. We come back. Boom, eight-second violation. Defense and turnovers are not always about getting steals. This is another one right here. I, I don't I don't understand why he doesn't do it. He gets he gets his ass graded out, and I don't I don't understand yet again. At this point in time, you un, you have to understand what we're doing, right? Root sees me, and I got him in a precarious situation. Uh, I got I got the sideline helping. I got the blue. I got the uh, half court line helping, and you see Root on his horse, on his absolute horse, going right here. Now, why on earth do you not make this pass? Just make the pass. That's all you got to do. Or you can even make this pass right here again. And, and uh, you know, Hezzy's sitting there, but you, you can get that pass in there. He sees Brute get off of him. Hezzy, once again, is in between playing both of these guys right here. And he's looking right here. He's just going to play first pass. Brute comes down. He's already engaged. Brute come down. We get the steal. Brute got 55 steal or something like that. He had just made this play of the day. And dude gets graded out. And like that's just how we play defense. You got you can literally get the steal every single time if you play defense like this. You gotta play the game, you gotta set these things up, and then you just gotta play it. You have to play it in a manner where everybody's rotating and you gotta trust your teammates. If you can trust your teammates, you can get these blitzes going and you can play just like we're playing here. Like, like this is just a great defensive uh set right here. You know, everybody's moving around, everybody's rotating, and you can give me that once again. You see, when I say every time I go for a steal, you're going to see right here, look. He comes in. He's got Brute right here. Like, like this this, this is this is the issue right here. Um, Brute's right here. I'm right here. Anytime you got two, two defenders around the ball, you're in the danger zone. I wait till he goes out. Boom. Right hand on the, on the back tip. We get the steal, and we out of there. Like, the biggest issue is, I, I know a lot of these guys that are ball handlers, they don't want to have to take onus 
on getting some of these steals. But if you're gonna let people set you up like this and constantly get you into these two, these two on one situations, like bro, you're gonna just lose the ball. Like even right here, I lost the ball. Hezzy comes across. Look at how I waited until he gets engaged with Hezzy, right? Like most of the people would think I would, I would reach right here. As soon as he crosses back over and, and he's engaged with two people, that's when I do it, man. So like I said, you can literally get the steal every single time if you play like this and, and do these same things that we're doing, man. Hopefully this video helps you out. Hopefully you guys now understand why you're getting the ball stolen and also how to get the steals. If you see somebody engaged and you are a defender, go get the ball and make him pass it. You either gonna have to, he's either gonna pass the ball or he's gonna lose the ball, man. That's it, man. So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, AKA Fresh From The Barbershop, BK, The People's Town. Guys, please.